You've been enjoying drugstore makeup reviews and here we've got another one. Now, Michaela Noguera over on TikTok and Instagram has reviewed this product and we're gonna give it a try. This is the NYX Zero to Brow Gel. Now, I remember this TikTok and I remember adding this to my Ulta cart because I was like, how is that even possible? She apparently applied it, gave it a minute, followed instructions, went like this. It would not wash off. She followed up afterwards trying to remove it in her bathroom and right in front of the sink and she showed us she's rubbing it up and it was not going away. I wonder if that's actually going to work the same for me. I snagged mine in the shade black. I don't recall if they had espresso. I'm Let me see, let's see together. They do have espresso. They have chocolate, espresso, and black, which would be shades that would kind of sort of work for me. I probably should have gone with espresso. However, the black doesn't look in the swatch like an actual black, it looks brown black. That's probably why I snagged this shade. It is available in seven shades. It retails for $13 over at ulta.com. And the instructions say, use the spoolie to groom or comb the brow hairs in place. Apply the gel to fill and shape the brows with the precise doe foot applicator. Use the spoolie to gently blend away any harsh lines. And then allow the product to dry for 60 seconds without touching to set in place. For best results, avoid the brow area during cleaning, freehand, and pair with stencils. I guess you can use stencils for this. When Michaela went to the bathroom, she was wiping it away and it, was, it wasn't it was coming off, but it says avoid cleaning, so we'll see. It is apparently transfer resistant, a vegan formula, and it's basically waterproof. The spoolie they were talking about is a chubby little spoolie. See the packaging, it looks like a gray brown, not necessarily a full on black. And here we have our applicator with the product. So it looks more like a charcoal. Is this gonna be my new fave drugstore brow product? I don't know, cause I did review one. It's by Wet n Wild. It was super cheap, it was like five bucks, $4, 475 over at the drugstore. Well, five below. The video went up yesterday. I have most of the product on my skin. Again, that foundation wore so beautifully. My skin was loving it. It didn't fade, it didn't settle, it didn't move. It looked stunning. It literally looked at the end of the day as if I had just applied it. I'm telling you, I, I am obsessed with that foundation and it's so affordable too. You guys might really wanna go check it out. I will link the video up here for you. I'm going to take the product and I will kind of remove excess because my brows are fluffed up because I do brow lamination, but they're very, very fine. And then I'm gonna comb right, I'm gonna comb through it as I would a pencil. I'm not pressing onto the skin directly, so I think it'll make it look really harsh. I'm going right over the hair as lightly as possible to create a shadow. And I'm only gonna work on one brow in the moment so that we can see the before and after. Could you imagine this thing doesn't actually work? I mean, hello, right? A lot of people question Michaela's reviews with a lot of reason, I get it, but I don't wanna sit here and because it worked for Michaela, or it seemed like it worked for Michaela, next thing you know, Jotty has both brows done and has to remove them both. That would suck. I'm gonna be smart about it and just do one brow in the moment. Black does seem a little harsh for me, but I also feel like maybe it's cause it's shiny and it it's wet. I have applied it. I'm gonna gently comb right through it and I'm gonna place the hair where I need it to go. I'm gonna comb through. Not that it looks bad. I just find that it looks slightly harsher than usual and it's shiny, but it's a shade issue and it's a jotty shade issue. I could definitely pull it off though. The beginning of the brow has started to dry down. It's not as shiny. It looks pretty decent in this area, very gradient. So I like the way it looks. It's definitely giving me a nice shadow effect and makes the brow look naturally full. We're gonna let this dry down. Let's see, it's at 60 seconds. I think we're in a good place. I am gonna comb into this area here because it does look slightly shiny. I think the brow looks really good now that it has dried down. It looked good, I'm not mad at her. I want to see if it is transfer proof. So I'm grabbing one of these little cotton rounds. They're saying it's waterproof and they're saying that it is transfer proof. So I'm going, you know what? I don't wanna ruin the brow just in case it does look good. Hold on. I'm gonna take one of these instead and I'm gonna go over the brow. The reality is if you do this with a pencil product, 
it's going to lift. There's no way around it. It lifts and it smudges and it moves around and it looks ugly. I'm not expecting this to be really, really 100% waterproof. Like I don't feel like anything is quite literally 100% waterproof. Look, it's lifting already. Is there severe lift? No. It's been well over 60 seconds because um, I had to go get Cam a snack. So I'm just gonna go over it and show you guys. It does lift, it really does. It feels waxy on the brow. Feels like the brow will stay in place. I'm gonna grab my water bottle that I'm drinking out of. I'll take the opposite side of little Q-tip. I'm gonna wet it. So we did the smudge proof dry test. Now we're gonna do the waterproof test. I wet her. Remember, this is nice and clean, okay? And I'm gonna go over it. I could use one of these, which I was going to, but then it's gonna ruin my foundation and I think that my base looks so stinking pretty already. So I was like, I'm not trying to ruin it over a product that may or may not work. Okay, this is the waterproof. Funny enough, the lift is much, much less on the wet test. And I still have product on my brow. Let me do the other one. I wonder if it's gonna look as harsh or if it's gonna look good. Are the brows waterproof? I think they pretty much are. Are they smudge proof? Hmm. They're slightly smudge proof, but the more you go like this, they are gonna move around. I would say they're, they're transfer resistant, slightly. I'm able to go like this and I know they're gonna stay for a good minute. How long? I don't know. They do say avoid the brow area when you're washing your face, which means make sure you go around the brow completely. So I'm gonna say if you were to double cleanse or just regularly cleanse and you avoid the brow area, you might get away with wearing the brow for more than a day. I might wanna do a brow wear test. Should I do that? Should I apply the product and film the process one day and then follow up 24 hours later and let you know how it turned out. Maybe I can do it as a short or something, that way it's not a long video. Let me know what you think. So far, I like the product. I thought at first it looked really harsh when it was wet, but once it dries down, it looks really nice. And it actually looks like they are my brows. They did fill in, they added that extra shadow that I like, it was really easy to apply. My brows are very thin, so I can appreciate the applicator as what it is. It's a thin rod looking kind of fluffy, fuzzy tip, but it's not too fuzzy. It's not messy. It is very liquidy, but it dries down fairly quickly. I personally like the formula. I didn't find any trouble with application. And that says a lot because I have thin brows and I think it is money well spent. Have you seen the advertisements on this product? Have you seen Michaela's TikTok? Have you purchased it and tried it for yourself? And by the way, I didn't forget mascara. We're doing a review of yet another drugstore product. I wanna shout out my G-Squad and say thank you for joining channel memberships. You guys are absolutely amazing. They have joined channel memberships and unlocked exclusive members only perks. YouTube has provided them with their very own badge, which will change with the term of their subscription and their comments will be highlighted under every single video. If you're ever interested in joining channel memberships, all you really need to do is hit the join button below any of my videos. I have way more beauty content here on the channel. YouTube is gonna recommend a video here they think you're really, really gonna enjoy, so be on the lookout for that. But I'm also going to recommend a playlist filled with all things beauty, way more beauty content I think you're really gonna enjoy. So I hope you consider checking it out and I'll see you guys on the next video.